So you want to learn how to make a procedural gumdrop using geometry nodes in Blender. Well, that's oddly specific, but I'm not judging, and you have come to the right place. So let's get started. You start with the default scene. You can just delete everything and spawn in a new cube. And go right to geometry nodes. Add in a new node there. Gonna start with a cone shape. Take that off of there. Start with the cone shape. You can set the sort of vertices about 64, just to increase the resolution. Uh, the side segment you can leave at one. Fill segments say two. And radius top, let's put to 0.6 to uh, bring out that point at the top there much more like a gumdrop let's just bring this depth down a little bit 1.2 and so that's looking kind of like a gumdrop shape more or less so then what we're going to do is give it a subdivision surface a uh, three give that yeah a little bit of a crease and uh i think the last thing for the base shape is to set set this to set shade smooth and there we go got the basic shape of the gum drop done already that was pretty painless now we have to do the salt crystals so we've got this it's got, if you think of it kind of like a particle system you're spreading spreading other geometry all over the surface of this thing. So join geometry. And then we can add in the distribute points on faces. Put that into there and put that into there. And there we go. Take that over there for now. Actually, let's Shift right mouse button just to get that kind of out of the way for us. All right, so distribute points on faces. We're going to want this density. We'll first set this to Poisson disk. I don't know exactly how to say that, but it gives you this range that you can use. So we're going to set the the Distance minimum to no, let's see, 0.033. The density max way up 500. And so we've got the points all over this. Now what we want is to instance instance on um, points. We want to instance a bunch of cubes down here. So let's add a cube. Cube. Pop that right in there. And these cubes are way too big. And it much, looks much less like a gumdrop now. Um, so what we need to do is we need to scale the instances. They're too big. And so instead of, because we could just scale these directly, bring them down, zero, one. And, you know, but they're all the same size. So let's actually do that with an operation. Let's see, random value. We're gonna have to set to point 0.1, I don't know, let's see. Point. Zero three, maybe a little too big. We can make that the maximum. Maximum point zero three. Minimum point zero five. Let's just say point zero three three, just because. Put that value into the scale. It's going to add that for all the x, y, and z. 
And now we've got a bunch of different sizes. But it's looking a little too big for me. So instead of actually going back and um, changing this, I'm going to add a math node, set it to multiply. And... Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to turn the density up a little bit. Let's see, density max up to 1,000. Oh, maybe the distance is too high. 500, and then change the distance to 0 0.025. Yeah, there we go. Got the instances scaled, so now what we want to do is um, rotate instance. Rotate instances. And we're going to do a similar thing, take a random value, put it into the rotation. And now we're going to put the minimum to zero and set the maximum to 300 or 360. And just going to rotate them all in random directions all along their X, Y, and Z location all around it. And uh, yeah, so we've got... We've got this pretty much set up already. Now all that's left to do is make the materials. Um, let's go into shading. Or no, actually, let's stay in geometry nodes and pull up a shader window. This is the shader editor. All we need now is to have this here with a set material at the end here and just copy that and put it at the other end there and this is for the salt or not the salt the sugar rather let's make sugar material and let's add this to sugar right there sugar and then let's make a new material and call it gummy for the gummy part put that to the other one here gummy so this is where, if we look just through here, oops, All right, if we take this node and put it to the output, instead of joining the geometry, we've got just the gumdrop. So that's why we're setting this to gummy and this to sugar, because this is just the sugar. Floating around there. So, got our material set up, we can go into the rendered view. Oh, let me just set up a little HDRI real quick. I have this plugin called, uh, called Easy HDRI. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty, pretty useful. And film transparent. Let's actually set this to cycles. I like to bring the resolution down because it doesn't need to be that high. <clears throat> I mean, maybe we can turn it up for the render, but for the samples rather. Okay, so now we've got our material, or I mean our HDRI set up, our lighting. Find one that we like. It looks like an environment I might see some gummy stuff in. Let's make the gummy one first. Um, so, first thing we're going to want to do is bring up this transmission. Wow, that looks gummy already. So, the uh, thing about gummies, though, is that they have this, have this like, kind of rough texture to them a little bit on the outside. Sugary. It's sugary. So, we're going to add a Veronoi texture. And I like to just work in 4D. Let's look at that there. Maybe set the scale to about 170. Yeah. And let's put that through a color ramp. Just to tighten up that uh, pattern there. And instead of bringing that black up, because if I bring this over, it gets too sharp and I don't want that. So I'm gonna actually Make this kind of like a darker gray and bring that over instead. That gives me kind of more of what I'm looking for. And so then let's just send that through a bump node. 
attach that to the height. Take it off as normal. Attach that to the height, and we've got a kind of kind of funky little texture going on there. You might want to invert this here. Yeah, because now the bumps are coming out instead of going in. All right, so we've got our bump map. Plug that into the normal. And move through this. And wow, look at that. And looking bumpy. So our material's uh, pretty much almost finished. Let's just add in another color ramp with a color up here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach this color in here. And I'm just going to, well, I'm going to set the um, interpolation from linear to constant. And I'm going to pick some nice gummy colors. Be a pink. Add a, usually like a white flavor. Add a blue or more like a green yeah that looks better add a orange and maybe like a, a darker green and kind of like a red see that. That looks good. Okay, so now just kind of distribute these, right? So this amount of space up here is, well, let's finish up setting up the color first. The last thing you need to do is bring in an object info node, and let's take random and give it to the factor of the color ramp. So now what's going to happen is every time you duplicate this, going to be given a random value between um, 0 and 1, which is going to be associated with one of these colors on the color ramp. So whichever color is taking up the most space is going to be the most likely candidate for, uh, you know, for being picked every time you spawn in a new object. So let's just kind of distribute these how we think the colors might be distributed. Probably not that many green ones or red ones. Probably some white ones and some pink. I think that looks good. I like that. And this is looking nice so far. So we've got our gummy material finished. Let's go on to the sugar material. And all I really need to do for the sugar material here is let's bring up the transmission all the way and the transmission roughness. And that's too dark. Um, that doesn't look good. It looks like it's covered in pepper or something. So let's take an RGB, set it to white all the way, and attach that to the base color. And then add in a math node Set it to multiply. I think a value of about three should probably work here. Maybe four or three and a half. Yeah, I like that. Looks good. And uh, there you have it. Got your procedural geometry nodes gumdrop. And you might want to uh, go back in and like, personally, I would go back in here and go, go back in here, go to where the cube is. I don't want to um, you know, make the cube a little bit smoother. I feel like sugar crystals aren't sharp like this is more kind of like a salt thing. Um, let's go back in here. Let's just subdivide this mesh. Subdivide mesh. Level one, just to give it a little bit more geometry. Maybe two. 
and go to subdivision surface. Afterwards, and yeah, set it to one. Keep it a little more jagged because uh, they are crystals, but they're just not as sharp as salt. And there you have it. And because of this uh, gummy material that we have here, whenever I duplicate this, I'm going to get uh, another color. And you can add more colors as you want. If I come in here and let's just add in. I don't know, like a dark purple. And there you go. There's a dark purple in there now. There you have it. Some procedural gumdrops, all geometry nodes, all procedural. You can go in here and change any of these values that you want at any time. And also, if you were to add back in a, I think a, was it group input? Yeah. You can take any of these values here. Pop them in there and it will go to the modifier for the um, object that you have selected. And you can just change the parameters there. You can make any kind of gummy that you want that are on with these other gumdrops. make a gummy disc if you want to and there you have it that's how you make gumdrops using geometry nodes in blender